Hey everybody, just want to go a quick overview of my CNC conversion of a Little Machine Shop 3990 High Torque Mini Mill. Um, had this for a while, great machine, and just time to go CNC for some of the projects and stuff I need to do. I need the additional control. So I've got a CNC fusion kit, uh, just got it out of the box, unpacked, looks great, excited to get it put in. As far as electronics, what I'm going to use on this particular build, uh, 425 ounce inch motors. Uh, picked up four of them at a good price. Figured it hard to beat. Um, probably way overkill for this machine, but uh, it's good to know you've got the power if you need it. And options to go to bigger bigger machines later down the road. Went with the Keeling Stepper Drivers 5056 series. Um, should be able to handle everything I need for driving these motors. Uh, 48 volt, 8.3 amp power supply. To control it, I'm going to start out with Garble. Um, through an Arduino. Uh, I'm going to use an Arduino Nano. Um, also going to be doing something with a 7 inch touch screen and a Raspberry Pi 3 using BCNC as the software. Um, kind of an experiment. Done some tests so far. Seems to be working. Um, it's going to be fun to see how that works, uh, especially with the Pi 3 being um, Wi Fi and Bluetooth built in. I'm going to use a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, I'll go more into detail on how I'm going to set that up, but just a quick overview of the hardware uh, that's going to go into this build. Also going to be using a Home Depot Lowe's off the shelf 12 by 12 by 6 box um, to house all of this and I've got a special project going on right now with building a frame in order to house the 7 inch touch screen so everything will be in this box. Drivers, power supply, um, computer, everything so should be able to come up with a g-code file upload it to a share file that's on the raspberry pi and then go into the raspberry pi either remote desktop um, or come into the touch screen and keyboard and just be able to touch and use bcnc as the software to upload that so that's a quick overview and uh, i'll do more videos as i go through this build